18 days. Those many days are left for your NACJS 2024 examination. 18 days are left. And that is approximately more than two weeks from now onwards. So in this last two weeks or approximately more than two weeks, what you should be studying, how you should be studying to maximize your marks, especially the revision part. We will be talking in this video, students. Now, before we start, I want all of you to understand it is time to do a mindset reset. Now, what is mindset reset, students? Very simple. I would want all of you, especially in the last two weeks, to not study anything new. Because whatever you have learned till now, whatever core memory which you have built till now, if you do not revise that in the last two weeks, everything would be meaningless. So last two day, last two weeks plays a very important role in determining your marks. So what would I suggest is that in the last two weeks, your main step has to be consolidation of memory. Because if you talk about memory as such, right, there are three ways a memory can develop. The science behind memory. First one is called as creating a memory which you have been doing from past one year, six months, three months, two months, one month, whatever time is it, you've been preparing for the examination, the memory has been created. The second step is what we are dealing with right now, that is consolidation of memory. And I'll also tell you in this video, how to recall the memory also. So three steps are very important for a proper, efficient retaining of the information. Now students, this is Basparat sir, your biology master teacher students. If you are new to the channel, quickly, all of you quickly subscribe to the video. And also, do not forget to smash that like button right now. Smashing like button is marking your attendance right now. Okay. Now, first of all, let's say you wake up, brand new day, two weeks are left, what are you supposed to do? First thing, the first week is very important in doing something called as consolidation of memory. Now, how do you do that students? How do you do that? There's a very, very simple rule, very simple rule. Every single day, you take a major subject. Let's say on first day, you take biology. Along with a major chunk of revision of biology, at the end of the day, let's say after 5 p.m., right? not the end of the day, after half, half, half the day, after 5 p.m., shift into a minor topic of other subject. Let's say you do biology and from morning till 5 p.m. After 5 p.m., you start with chemistry, main, main topics which you are weak in. Now, next day, full day chemistry, last after 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., physics. Next day, full day physics, last uh, three, four hours, biology. So, that is a very simple rule which will help you to keep your mind uh, changing environment and also your memory gets better because you are not studying the entire one subject. Because if you study one subject for a very long time, you get bored and you get saturated very fast. So this combination will help you to get a good marks and remember better also. Now, revise from your own notes, not books right now. See, books, see, if you have notes prepared throughout the year, refer the notes. Because you know the most important topics right now. So if you have notes, very good. If you do not have notes, I am asking you the last time today, right? Whatever subject, whatever topic, you do not have notes in biology, let me know in the comment section. If the video ke description may within five, within let's say five hours, you, you will have all the notes possible because I don't want you to sit through books, long books right now. I know I have not sent you a lot of notes. So I'm asking you again, whatever uh, subject, uh, especially biology, whatever topic, chapter, you do not have notes, ask me comment section today itself because you will get everything today itself in the Telegram channel. Okay. Then create one sheet. Now, what is this one sheet? One sheet kya hota hai? Okay. Very simple. So it's very simple. One sheet is your best friend. One sheet will help you to revise the best way possible. One sheet is very specific to your different, different types of your subjects. For physics, we have for a revision formula, dimensions and graphs. Most important graphs are present in one sheet. Most important formulas are present in one sheet. See again, in examination, you'll be like, sir, I will derive the formula. Students, you will waste time in derivation. Better to learn the formula, by heart the formula, than sit and derive in the examination. So, formula sheet, dimension sheet also, the conversions, you will lose marks otherwise there. So, everything has to be written in one sheet. So, three different sheets for your physics, 
So the chemistry have inorganic reactions, periodic trends, and moles and rocks. Here also you will have certain exceptions which you have to write in a sheet. Then when you come to biology, the diagram for tricky terms. What I would suggest is in biology, please focus on examples where many students go wrong. So create a sheet of, you know, now only from today onwards of all the biology tricky terms which you get confused between. So if it is there, it is easy for you. Okay. So this will help you to revise subject wise. Now, first week is over. Why? What have you gained right now? In biology or in science, there is something called as forgetting curve. Let's say you learn something as the day passes by, the memory goes on, goes on, goes on low and it will keep on coming down. But if you keep on solving a question, if you keep on getting that memory back, what happens? The memory retention happens. So if you want to beat the forgetting curve, you need to do something called as space repetition or question practice the best way possible. So that is what we'll be doing in the next week after that. The next week students mainly focus on the practice and retention phase. Here you will be solving especially one full mock length every two days. And what is most important here is when you're solving mock test, it is very important to analyze your mock test. Is mock test se kitne mere questions mere correct ke, kahan par mere wrong kiya hai, how can I improve? That is more important. Analysis or attempt is very important because many students keep on attempting. Attempt karte ro, karte ro, karte ro, remarks nahi bad rahe, then you'll keep wondering. So analysis of the paper is very important in the last one week here. Now, after that, revise weak areas on the same day. So if you have kar rahe ho na, mock test likh liya, ho gaya, usko analyze kiya usi din, aur uske the same day or the end next day, wherever you're losing marks, whichever topic you're losing marks, subject you're losing marks, Revise that that is same day revision. So you make a mistake, you make sure you will never make the mistake again. And after finally, a quick 30 minutes daily flashcard revision. That is basically the sheet. Jo apne pehla week mein tha na, sheets ko. U sheet ko har din 30 minutes or 40 minutes revise karo. Ten students. If you follow this last two weeks, the simple thing, trust me, aapka acha rank aega hi aega. And you'll get good marks also students. So, and uh, one thing students, I'll tell you all my, all my, Every competitive exam students and uh, in my board students will tell them, please don't compromise on sleep in at least last two weeks. Please get a minimum of five hours sleep. Five hours to hona chahiye. Generally, I recommend six, but right now exam is closed. by aapko nahi aayegi, anxiety hogi. But five hours is very important because when you are awake, you create memories, you create knowledge, you learn knowledge. But when you sleep, that memory becomes stronger. The neurons bind better. So sleep is very important. Okay, so students, that's for this video. Uh, so please uh, work hard because your entire life can change in two weeks. Thank you so much, students. I'll see you in the next video, next lecture. Until then, keep studying, keep working hard, and uh, bye bye, students.